Welcome to BeatSource Tech. My name is Mojax and today we've got a first look at the new version of Serato DJ Pro, version 2.5.11. This is not just any old point release, it also adds compatibility for a very important piece of hardware. When I reviewed the XDJ RX3 from Pioneer DJ back in November of 2021, it was lacking any software support. Whilst the company's own record box software was integrated shortly afterwards, the promised Serato DJ Pro support has taken a little longer, around five months. But with the release of version 2.5.11, it's finally arrived. To get it up and running, you'll need to download the software, install the audio driver for your operating system, and ensure the RX3 is updated to the latest firmware, 1.11. After that, it's plug and play. Connect to your computer to the USB port on the rear of the RX3 and you're all set. How is the integration? Pretty slick. There will always be a few quirks with Serato DJ Pro on hardware, which is not purpose-built for it. The names of the pad modes don't match, for example, but on the whole, it's easy enough to work out and get used to. The biggest upgrade on the RX hardware going from the RX2 to the RX3 was the screen, and that looks great with Serato DJ Pro. During playback, it looks fundamentally the same as when you're playing standalone, with the large stacked waveforms complemented by smaller overview ones below, all in full colour. The large waveforms do exhibit the kind of push and pull effect found on all the RX units, although that was much improved on the RX3. It's due to how the waveforms are rendered, so it won't be affected by your choice of source. Something else I noticed is that you can't zoom in quite as far on the big waveforms when using Serato as you can with Rekordbox or when playing standalone, which is a bit odd, although that may just be in my beta version. You can scrub through the track using your finger on the smaller waveforms, as well as change from elapsed to remaining time. One thing you can't do is swipe through crates or playlists in the browse view, you'll need to use the control knob for that. There are eight pad modes with four activated using the shift key. Hot cues, saved flips, I don't have flips activated so it took me a minute to work out what that was. Auto loop, slicer, loop roll and slicer loop, sampler and pitch play. There are no dedicated beat jump controls but if you have that activated in the software, the lower four pads in loop and loop roll mode take care of that anyway. The RX3 also doesn't feature any parameter buttons for the pads but you can do things like select the loop range with the Q loop call buttons towards the top of the unit. There are even more loop options on the RX3, as the traditional Pioneer DJ loop in and out controls work with Serato 2, as well as the instant 4-beat loop when you hold down the loop in button. In terms of performance, I have zero complaints. Serato and Pioneer DJ have worked on jog wheels together for many years, and so they feel tight and responsive. You can adjust the software break time using the shortcut menu on the hardware, which is a nice touch. The displays in the jog show up with the virtual playhead and track artwork if you have that, and all work as expected. There's no hardware access to the Serato software effects, but as the hardware effects are so good, I doubt anyone will miss that. There is one slight quirk to the effects which caught me out a couple of times. Although the BPM tracks directly from the software, the millisecond timing doesn't change. So when you adjust the BPM in Serato DJ Pro or play a new track at a different tempo, you'll need to hit the beat control on the effects to ensure that they are synced correctly for your chosen selection of half, one or two beats, etc. That might be something Pioneer DJ can fix in a firmware up Update, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Something that's crucial for DJs who might encounter the RX3 in a venue is just how easy it is to go between standalone playback and Serato DJ Pro when switching DJs for example. And I'm pleased to report that is very straightforward. Switching source on one deck doesn't interfere with the other in any way. You should even be able to go back to back with one DJ on a USB stick and the other on Serato if you're careful. And that's the main reason I'm so glad that the Serato integration on the RX3 is so cleanly done. I highly doubt that any DJ has bought one just to use with Serato DJ Pro. I don't understand why you would. But if you're a Serato DJ Pro user who plays at a spot which has an RX3 installed, then you can rest assured your choice of software will now work with the hardware very nicely indeed. So there you go, a first look at Serato DJ Pro 2.5.11 or 2.5.11, whatever you want to call it. This one is a full release, it's not a public beta, so by the time you watch this video, you'll be able to go to the Serato site, download it and install it for yourself, ready to rock. Why do I think this XDJ RX3 support is so important? Well, two reasons. Firstly, it was promised. When the RX3 came out, they said it was going to have Serato DJ Pro support. It literally says Serato DJ Pro on the unit itself, and so they had to get it right, and they have. It's a great integration, I really like it. Secondly, I think devices like the RX3 are going to become more important, certainly in the sort of short to medium term, because they fill a big hole in the Pioneer DJ product lineup. Because as of right now, 
there are no contemporary, like really current, separate media players below the CDJ 3000s. Now, the 3000s are awesome, right? They're really, really good. But they are also very expensive. And a small bar, you know, a venue like that often just does not have the budget for a set of CDJ 3000s and maybe a 900 Nexus 2 mixer. It's too much. But there is no current kind of CDJ 900 version or XDJ 1000. That That's all that kind of out of date or just not available anymore. They've not made a new affordable media player for quite a long time. So I'm seeing devices like the RX2 and now the RX3 popping up in more and more venues. And so it's great to have that Serato DJ Pro support for that kind of DJ. You know, they work great for the record box USB stick users, but to also then have great Serato DJ Pro support, that opens it up for a lot of other DJs as well. So I'm very happy to see it. Do let us know in the comments as well. Is this a trend you're seeing in your part of the world? Or is it just kind of something I'm seeing? Maybe it's an aberration. I don't know. But I think these all-in-ones, whether they're standalone or just controllers, are making more of an impact in the booth. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I'm not entirely sure, but certainly that's what I'm seeing. Thank you for watching this episode of Beat Source Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video a like and make sure you're subscribed and you turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.